spoke to Kiefer's friend, the guy who hosted the party, and according to Jordy Stewart, Kiefer was furious that his girlfriend blew him off. He left the party early, somewhere between 8.30 and 9, and Jordy didn't see him at the party after that. All right. Well, I talked to one of Alexis's neighbors. Yeah. She said she got home around 9.30 and was nearly sideswiped by a light-colored SUV speeding out of the Davis's driveway. What does Kiefer drive? A silver SUV. And at 9.30... Ethan was still at the Haunted Star getting reamed by Sam. This is still isn't good enough to hold up in court. Who said anything about court? Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so if you got I do. <sighs> State your name. Dr. Robin Scorpio Drake. Are you related to Police Commissioner Malcolm Scorpio? I am. He's my uncle, but he raised me like a daughter. And you're a doctor here in Port Charles? Yes, I'm on staff at General Hospital. Do you know the defendant, Michael Corinthos Jr., also known as Sonny Corinthos? I know him very well. And how would you characterize your relationship? We've been really good friends since I was a teenager. We were close to someone that had a serious illness Stone. He was a boy who lived on the streets. Sonny took him in, gave him a place to live, and treated him with respect when very few did. And after Stone died, Sonny donated millions of dollars to create a new wing at the hospital. The Stone Cates AIDS Memorial Wing at General Hospital. That's right. Sonny is a very generous and loving man and well, I've often said that I don't know how I would have gotten through that part of my life if it wasn't for his love and support. Your friend Robin may have just pulled your character out of the fire. Claire's not finished yet. Claire! I'll call me as soon as you get this. Uh, no, court's probably still in session, but we want to talk to you. Thanks. Just the man I wanted to see. Oh, you know what? I was just on my way out. It can wait. Really? Are you okay? Is it a life and death situation? I have a project that I think will fit right into your current situation. I didn't realize I had a situation. Yeah, well, the one where you're sleeping in one of your own hotel suites. Oh, yes, that would fall under the category of none of your business, wouldn't it? Even if it gets Carly's attention? <sighs> okay. Now I'm listening. Hey, what are you doing? More coffee for our guests. No, 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 no. I'm shutting this party down. Do you have any idea that combines net worth at that table? You keep your hands off Sky's net worth. She's mine. Now I gotta ask you something. Con to con, thief to thief, man to man. I need your help here. Okay, it's gonna cost you. All okay, right, I understand. We'll uh, negotiate the price later. I want you to get the old man and young Maya out of here, and then I need you right close behind them. Off you go. Do your worst. Oh, that's really going to cost you. <laughs> yeah, I love the pictures that you sent. She named her baby girl after my dear Lila. And Maya, I should probably take a look at the damage to your car since it was me that ran you off the road. You did what? It's nothing, really. But the less he has to do with it, the better. You know, Maya's just being nice. I am not. No, I, I, I feel terrible about it. She ran right off the road. Yeah. You are a menace, young man. You shouldn't be allowed to drive until you can tell your, your, your right from your left. Come on with me, dear. I want to know exactly where this happened so that this rapscallion can make retribution. Come on. It's fine, Edward, really. Listen to me. The first lesson of the day is that no quarter may never gets taken advantage of. Neither does a war. No. Oh. Oh, Sky, we'll see you back at the house. Bye-bye. Well, I should probably go show them right where the accident occurred, so you two have fun. You know what they say. There's no such thing as accidents. Nope. No such thing as accidents or coincidences. So alone at last. Tell me, why did you come back? <laughs> <laughs>